My favorite part of being featured in Architectural Digest was the focus on the home. It was not about fashion, it was not about the trends, it was not about me, it was really about my home. This is my sanctuary. I think that my house is very streamlined. It has little accents of modern, but, but yeah, I think the pieces really reflect the same attitude as my personal style. Travel is a real source of inspiration for me. You know, every time that I have an opportunity and I'm in a different city, I'll go look at you know, what objects I can find or what beautiful furniture stores there are. I like a very soft palette, but I love texture, so I'm obsessed with rugs. That's really where the patterns and the texture comes into my house. I don't like to say that I can't live without something that is a material object, but something that is very dear to me is the desk where I sat for many long nights writing my first book. It kind of moved, has moved with me from every apartment that I've been in. How do I organize my closet? I don't know, that's where the editor and the neurotic compulsive sets in and I, you know everything needs to be stacked together, all the colors need to be together. That's the only thing that I can control. If you want to interpret some of those seasonal trends into your home decor, I think a very good way to do it is through the accessories, be it, the, you know, pillows, throw pillows, and even in fashion. I mean, when actually accessories are the easiest way to make something very current without having to do a head-to-toe transformation, I think the same goes for the home. It really took a long time for us to have this apartment come together. Things get added, things get subtracted, you add some more, you change, the kids grow up. It's kind of an evolution.